As a practitioner of data science, I'm sure you'll agree with me. Mathematics is a core of data science, machine learning and deep learning and whatever we want the intelligent systems to build. Now, in my journey of learning in this data science as a practitioner, I normally refer to the books and uh, one of the recent book that I have come across is the essential mathematics for data science. So in this video, I'll provide you my honest review on this book on essential mathematics for data science by Thomas Neal. Now, first of all, let me tell you, this is one of the great book if you're someone who is starting out in the data science or machine learning. I would recommend that you use this book as an additional supplement resource which will help you to understand the mathematics behind the various machine learning algorithms that you generally come across. Now let me talk about what are the chapters that are present in this book and how your learning journey will go through and what are my opinions about each of these chapters. But frankly speaking, I really enjoyed going through this book and I enjoyed the code part where the author has explained about the various concepts. So I would say that I'm pretty confident when I'm saying my opinion about this book. So in the first chapter, so it is about the basic mathematics and the calculus review. So this is a chapter where you will be introduced about the basics of mathematics and the calculus. If you're someone who's very new to mathematics, you are, you are actually from non-mathematics background till now and you are completely zero, then this section, even though it's a basic one, which will be definitely of helpful to you. I myself have found some of the topics like limits and the derivatives a very a good part, especially it gave me a refresher on the topics which I had learned a very long back. And the concept of integrals are also illustrated well, especially with the help of the coding exercises. And once you complete your basic mathematics and the calculus, you will move on to the next chapter, which is about the probability. Now here, I would say this chapter is one of the good chapter, which everyone has to read because the author introduces the concept of the probability with the relevant example, which we can relate to in our real life. Now, in the third chapter, it's about the descriptive and the inferential statistics. Now, trust me, guys, the basics that you learn from the probability will be of a connecting point, especially the concept of probability distributions that you will be learning. So that has been well connected in the third chapter, because in the third chapter of descriptive and the inferential statistics, the first half is about the descriptive statistics where you will be talking about mean, median, mode of a given data set. And the second part is about the inferential statistics where you will perform some analysis on the sample and infer it on the total population. So in order to connect to these data distribution, so the author has very well connected from the topics from the chapter two to the chapter three to ensure that as a reader, we get a clear understanding of how each and every concept would work. I personally liked the examples that were given, especially at the start of this inferential statistics, where uh, the author said about like he, it, he actually explained about the storyline where a botanist, she was trying to guess that she, she could guess whether milk was poured first or tea was poured first. So I personally liked that story and it actually gave me a better picture about the inferential statistics. And once that is done, so we moved on in the learning journey of linear algebra. So in this fourth chapter, it's basically about the basics of vector and the type of matrices, which is very much similar to what we have learned in our high school. Maybe the concepts in depth about eigenvectors, eigenvalues and how it can be implemented to PCA. So if that would have been added, then that would really be helpful. But all in all, if you're someone who is very new to the linear algebra, so I will say you'll definitely enjoy the basics of linear algebra and bringing back all the concepts that you have learned in high school and connecting to the data science. And then the fifth chapter is about the linear linear regression, where we talk about how this linear regression algorithm is going to work, the concept of finding the best line, the correlation coefficient, the coefficient of determination, 
and the product prediction intervals so these are some of the key aspects which i really liked and the author has also touched upon the concepts like the stochastic gradient descent so which really came out well and it's a really a good understanding of this topic if you have gone through this book and the sixth chapter is about the logistic regression and the classification where i really liked how he has presented the concept of logistic regression especially the concept of r square and the p values and connecting with the confusion matrices so here this chapter also talks about the concepts of roc auc that is the receiver operating characteristics and the area under curve including the class imbalance and what i liked about each and every chapter of this book is at the end of the book so it has got the relevant exercises which made us think about what are the concepts that we have learned and how does it actually connect to all the other topics and it will it, it also has some example problems which makes us think more about the topics that we have studied in that chapter which is very nice especially when you are going through the technical books and the chapter 7 it goes into the basics of neural network where you understand the simple neural network forward pass backward pass and some of the limitations of neural network and the deep learning so this is mainly intended to give you the picture of neural network and the last chapter is about the general guidance and the career advice for the data science so all in all i would say this is a wonderful book so i personally have enjoyed the book so if you ask me so i'll say 9 out of 10 for this book because i generally love the technical books and it basically helped me to refresh a lot of concept even though i have authored multiple e learning courses on this concept of mathematics for data science it still helped me to recollect and reinforce some things and it gave me some inspiration about explaining the concepts in a better way so i will say this is one of the good book whenever you want to start your learning journey for learning the mathematics for data science so let me know your thoughts if you have read this book so or if you want me to review any other book do let me know i'll have i'll be happy to do it so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you next time